This is a tutorial for visual cryptography for videos with Sensor Tracker Deluxe. To start with, we check the filters box. And if we want to save audio as well, we click the audio button. Now the continue button. The OK button for choosing the file. And we uh, choose the file. Wait a few seconds. And now we go to filter page number two and set the encryption decryption slider to value number three. That is level three encryption. Now set the ten level three sliders to any values you like and watch the result in the preview w window. When you're done with that, you can also choose the exosafe mode by clicking the little box where it says filter 24. Now we save the values by pushing the save values button. If you want to use the security plus option, you have to check the respective box and then you push the generate button. Here we choose an image file that is used to further encrypt the video image. But in this case we don't use this option. Here you can see the preview of that option. I'm checking it again. Preview changes. And now we can render the file. First we choose compression. In this case it's exit click OK and choose a file name for your output video. Now rendering takes a while. And a couple of seconds later we can watch the result, for example in virtual dub. Note that the playback is somewhat choppy because this tutorial was recorded with a screen capturing software so the playback isn't as fluid as it normally would be. And now we want to decrypt the video. We just encrypt it. So we start center tracker again and choose the filters and audio and choose encrypted video file. Open it. Again we go to filter page number two. Set the encryption slider to value number four this time for the encryption and as we have chosen extra safe mode we choose it again now. Now we load the values instead of adjusting the sliders manually and we start rendering again. You can see in the preview window what the output looks like now. The colors are a bit off now because we have chosen compression for saving. This loss wouldn't be there if we had chosen uncompressed video. But it's really just a bit color loss and the rest of the information is clearly visible as you can see. By the way, if we had chosen the security plus option, we should have chosen uncompressed video because otherwise we had, would have artifacts in the result video but as we didn't choose it, compression is just fine. And now we load the result video. And everything looks fine. Just a bit, a little bit slow playback here because of the screen capture program. But that's nothing unusual. 